Hello, and welcome to Volume 9 of My Prostate is Trying to Kill Me. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer and uh, vlogging my journey. Glad to have you along. Um, welcome. It's a day of firsts. I had my first radiation treatment. My granddaughter tried sushi for the first time. So, I, I, okay, two firsts. <laughs> but anyways, I was super happy that my granddaughter likes sushi, because that's one more thing now that we have in common that we can do together. And uh, she tried a California roll and a Washington roll, which is California roll with, um, uh, what was that? Was it salmon? Yeah, it was salmon on top. And uh, delicious, absolutely delicious. I haven't had sushi in a long time, so that was that was really good. So today, and I apologize, I'm just, uh, if I look beat, it's been a long day, long, long. Got up early this morning and uh, took about half hour nap this afternoon. Wasn't quite enough to recharge the batteries, and this is how it is when you're on the hormone treatments. It just wipes you out. Um, I'll be going to bed early tonight. But uh, went down this morning to uh, Newport Beach to the Hope Cancer Center down there and had my first actual radiation treatment. I gotta tell you, it was amazing. Uh, my treatment was actually shorter than the amount of time it took me to put on the gown. Because when you come in, you have a little card that you use, a little registration card. You walk through the door, and of course now with the Wuhan flu going on, uh, they check your temperature and make sure you're okay. And you're masked up. And you walk in, you scan your little card in, and it lets the technicians and the nurses in the back know that you're here and you're ready to go. Then I walk in to the men's dressing area. I pick up a gown, and then I head into the little uh, dressing room itself, close the door, strip down, put the gown on. And uh, who knew I was this uncoordinated to try and tie the, the gown in the back? Plus, both shoulders after having surgery are screwed up, so it's difficult to do that. And then it has ties in the back. <laughs> Those weren't getting done. Uh, I'm not. I'm not modest anymore. Like you know, whatever. So like I'm walking out. Yesterday I had to do the same thing. Uh, there was just a couple guys sitting in there, so I thought, yeah, today, no big deal. Like I'm walking out today, and there's some couple guys sitting in the waiting room, and there's a couple women sitting with them too. And I thought, well, sorry, but you're gonna have to see this 60 year old fat ass go walking by. So big as you please, just strolling along with my gown on, breezy in the back. So I went over and uh, they took me right in. And uh, same thing I had yesterday, because yesterday was kind of a dry run. So they have the table that I lay on. It has a pad for the head that holds your head from moving. And then uh, they offer you the ring. And I always take the ring because you have your arms, if they're laying at your side, it's hard to to maneuver, you know, to, to lay still, at least for me. So they give you the ring and you can hold onto the ring, put it on your chest, and then you lay back and you just hold the ring and it keeps keeps your arms from moving around. So that works out good for me. And then I have the mold that they did a couple of weeks ago of my legs starting uh, right below my butt and then all the way down to uh, my feet. And so I lift my legs up, they slide that underneath me and it puts my legs in exactly the same position that they were in the first time. And then these uh, little girls move me around and they keep telling me, they go, look, you don't help, okay? Just lay there and we'll move you around. So I'm like a piece of beef and these two poor, they neither of them can weigh over 100 pounds. I mean, they're both slim technicians that work there so I have to learn to just let go let them move me exactly where they need me to be we get get the little markers lined up and they were ready to go and seriously once they start it I just lay back on the table and I, I found like yesterday and today I say a little prayer when I start you know just to to ask the Lord to help them you know do their job the best they can make the aim true and uh, let's let's make this work you know kill the cancer and by the time I was done it wasn't a long prayer by the time I was done uh, I was almost finished and you lay there and, and the, the machine itself goes around you So it hits me in four different spots it hits me on the front the sides and from the back So I just lay there and it it rotates around the table and you don't feel anything Don't even really hear anything other than the music that's playing in there and uh, So far uh, didn't feel anything didn't feel any you know heat on my skin or anything like that Some of my buddies have suggested that you might get a possible Kind of like a sunburn type thing so they've suggested some creams to be able to use for that so i'll talk to the doc and say hey is that a possibility but as of today um man it was nothing it was fantastic so the doctor said that you know the beginning of this it's probably not going to make my symptoms any worse than what i already have from dealing with the uh, hormone treatment and he says maybe you know the fatigue might get worse as we go along some changes in bowel habits um you know urination that kind of stuff so we'll see but as of today uh, it's one down, 27 to go. I'll be doing a Monday through Fridays, and I guess I'll be done somewhere in the middle of August. And uh, uh, I just, I, I feel uplifted because I knew that doing the hormone treatments that we were fighting it, um, but mostly just to shrink it so that we could get to the point of radiation. 
and not really killing the cancer. So that's always been sitting in the back of my mind, wishing that we were being more aggressive with it. Well, today we are. Today we're bombing it. And uh, so I am feeling um, uplifted about that. I feel good that we're actually, we're in there, you know, pounding the cancer. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I got a phone call from a, a very dear friend of mine today about alternative uh, treatments. So I'm going to check that out as well. I, I don't turn anything down. I'll check out anything anybody tells me, read up on it and, and see what it has to say. But uh, I did appreciate, uh, got a lot of text messages this morning, Facebook messages. Um, I, I so appreciate that. All the, the good thoughts, the prayers, the shaka, the, you know, everything you guys are sending my way, um, it works. So don't stop. I, I appreciate all of it and I love every one of you for sending that. So um, we're going to make some dinner. I just finished up making a couple of shirt orders that have to go out tomorrow. Uh, some uh, Remember Everybody Deployed shirts that are ready to mail out. And uh, we're going to do a steak. And my daughter is making some air fried vegetables. So uh, it'll be a good dinner. And um, I will touch back with you tomorrow. Uh, remember, you're welcome to come along this journey with me. If you'd like to, uh, hit the subscribe button below. Uh, click the uh, little notification button. You'll know when I uh, the bell. You'll know when a new one comes up. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. So uh, God bless you all. And thank you very much.